I know my wife and I are still in the honeymoon phase because we absolutely love to cuddle. You can gauge where your relationship is based on how often you cuddle. And that's all it has to be. In the beginning of a relationship, laying close was it. Spooning, still the best way to cuddle. If you don't know how to spoon, real quick, left arm under her neck, over her shoulder, so you keep blood flowing to the extremities. <laughs> hug, right arm under her right arm, hug, now you got her, she can't get away. <laughs> and in the honeymoon phase, you could sleep so close, intertwined like tree roots, and you could sleep like, you, you're skin on skin. You could, you could store food underneath your cuddles that would keep fresh for three days. But the more important part, you had cuddle endurance. You could sleep in this ridiculous position all night long and wake up fresh as a daisy. No sore muscles, no sore joints. You could just do that. Everyone who's past the honeymoon phase, you still cuddle, but there's always that point in the night where you're like, all right, babe, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> and you give her a smooch, and you reel your arm in, and you roll over. you crawl way over here to the absolute edge. Depending on how long you've been together, you might sleep on the floor. That's a viable option. You need me, I'll be on my pallet, right? You don't leave empty-handed. Remember how cold it got last night? So sheets, blanket, you're coming with me. You snatch it and then you tuck it aggressively under the fast, fattest part of your body so that thief can't take it. Now you can start to unwind, but it isn't long, fellas, until you recognize a real issue. Your neck doesn't have the support it deserves. You take a glance down, and you've only got one pillow. Not just one pillow, it's the saddest pillow in the pillow fleet. This one should have been replaced two TJ Maxx visits ago, where pillows are born. And I roll over to check on Princess of Pillow Palace who is celebrating with the remaining inventory. Even the decoratives have a job, you know what I mean? My wife, my wife is five feet tall, 106 pounds. She's got two of her most luxurious pillows under her neck. That's too much support. She's hugging my would-be pillow number two. She's got a fourth pillow, decorative, that is contouring her spine in case she wakes up and feels lonely. It's there to comfort her. Pillow number five is between her knees, but also keeps her ankle bones from touching at the same time. I'm trying to go to sleep, but I've got rage bubbling to the surface. I grab the pillow directly under her ear and go, No! Uh, it's two and two, not three and one. If you want three, get six. That's what it is. Simple pillow math. When a man says goodnight to you ladies, he is accepting that he's only going to get 25 to 30% of the mattress real estate. We're fine with that, aren't we fellas? As long as we get that 30% without interruption. But that's just impossible. At least for my wife, she doesn't say it, but it's like an unspoken thing. She's like, I can't get comfortable unless you're miserable. <laughs> Because I got the right amount of pillows now, too, right? I got the right amount of blankets. I've even got that one leg out from underneath the blanket. That's the leg that keeps you from getting heat stroke every night. That's the real hero in the bedroom. Thank you for your service, right? And it's right when I'm my most comfortable. I'm about to pass out. That's when I feel it, right? That clammy little paw. <laughs> down your rib cage, which would be cute in the honeymoon phase, but it's not, so it isn't. I grab her hand, I ask her a simple question. Did you hear me say goodnight? <laughs> Get your hands off me. <laughs> oh, don't overread it. I'm being immature, really? Okay. Would an immature person build a wall out of sheets, you sweat monster? <laughs> don't touch me, gross. Uh-uh, nope, you can't have any of my water. That's mine. Downstairs when I was making water, I said, I know you're gonna be thirsty, you always drink my water and never refill it. I don't care if you dehydrate. <laughs> oh, babe, are you still awake? Hey, when your alarm goes off, can you stop hitting snooze and just wake up? That would be a miracle. <laughs> Let's say you're past the honeymoon phase, you're in the work phase, and you accidentally fall asleep cuddling. And let me add, if you're a man over the age of 30 and you think it's okay to sleep on your shoulder all night long, you're an idiot. 
somewhere around 30, maybe right at, I'm not an athlete. Like, I fall asleep spooning my wife, and it feels like my shoulder came out of socket. My hands asleep, and at some point in the night, this girl turned into a space heater. All that cute skin-on-skin -skin contact feels like warm gorilla glue got glazed all over my body. I'm hot, I'm sticky, I can't breathe. I'm, I'm at a rage. This is when I'm like, get off me! Hey, thank you guys. My name is John Stringer.